Today we're out here at Mod Lake, a Britannia conservation area. As you can see behind me here, there are people skating on the ice and enjoying the outdoors. Today it's not busy, but uh, explain to me, Tony, you've been here on the weekends. What's it been like? Well, uh, I've been coming here for uh, almost 40 years now to experience nature and wildlife. And it's always been relatively busy with people exploring the trails and that. But uh, uh, over the last decade or so, the, the number of people have increased dramatically. Uh, I don't have any specifics, but you could come here now on a weekend and there could be as many as 90 cars, close to 100 cars parked along the side of Castles Road. And all of those people are walking on the trails, they're trampling vegetation, uh, and they're applying pressure on the wildlife that's here. So uh, it, things like uh, sensitive species like owls uh, during the breeding season, nesting birds and that, there's so many people uh, loving nature that they're literally loving it to death. This pressure is preventing them from finding natural food or going about their daily activities in the way that they should. Feeding the wildlife uh, in itself is, is not so bad, but with everyone feeding the wildlife, and especially with the uh, predators like the owls and that where they're being baited, the breeding owls and become uh, a mob scene for photographers where the photographers are there uh, virtually throughout the entire day from dawn till dusk and not just one or two people but uh, huge crowds constantly there uh, at, at their site while they're just trying to roost and raise a family. There, there are no easy answers. Uh, what we did last year when we saw that the zoo was developing around the screech owls that were nesting here, uh, the NCC came in and put the, uh, the police tape around the site so that people could not get too close to the, the nesting tree, but close enough where they could still get some reasonable photos. Moving forward, uh, I would love to see more conservation officers coming in, not only driving up and down Castle here, but park their car, get out of the vehicle, and start hiking inside the forest here. Uh, there are people walking their dogs, there are people on bikes, and even now I've seen people on mountain bikes in the winter. People are skiing. These are things that shouldn't be done here. And the only way, because we have been trying now for three years to educate people, voluntarily we go out and we explain to people why you shouldn't have your dog off leash, why you shouldn't bring your dog in there, why you shouldn't have your bike in there, why you shouldn't be making a bonfire in there. People say, oh, I don't care for rules. I do what I want. So when that's the mentality, then we need help. It would be brilliant if the NCC could just relax a little bit with everything they want to fix and maintain and, and everything here, let it just rest for a little while, get that money into more conservation officers so that they can patrol here more often and really actually have to start ticketing people because this is the only way that these people are going to listen to.